J J J, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, we're trying out new angles, new shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, man. I'm trying to get to work as soon as possible. But I want to make a little quick video with you guys. Just, you know, just to talk to you a little bit. All right, so people have been asking me, Joe. What's the best way to learn JavaScript, right? And what's the easiest way? Well, there's really never no easy way to learning how to code or learning any programming language. All you gotta know is just the, the basic, you know, basic features and the basic syntax of, uh, of a programming language, especially JavaScript. What you gotta understand, I think, which is like super important, that people don't really realize but it's like if you don't understand the dom if you don't understand how things are placed on a web page you shouldn't learn javascript yet until you're very comfortable i feel before you get to javascript you should be comfortable with being able to target any element on a page and be as specific as much as you can through css Meaning, if there's a div, and inside that div, there's three divs, and then inside those three divs, there's, you know, three paragraphs inside of each one, then how do you target the second paragraph inside of that, you know, of each div? How do you target that, right? If you don't know how to do that, or if you don't know how to Google it, if you don't know how to actually find out how to target that then it means that you don't understand that much of the dom and you don't understand how css works so before you jump into css uh, to javascript sorry before you jump into javascript learn that right and then from there the next thing for you to learn it would be to understand the basics understand what a variable is understand what a if and else statement is understand what a switch statement is understand what a loop right and then from there you gotta understand you know data structures you know strings integers uh, objects lists which are arrays um yeah once you understand those things then you could go you know deeper into the programming language of javascript but until you get those little points there's really no need for you to go into deeper things like you know people want to jump into a framework right away they're like oh man everybody's talking about react every job is hiring about you know angular and react and and it's like you don't know the basics yet so it's like you're jumping into something that you have no idea what it is about you have no idea what's going on behind the hood and one thing you gotta understand this frameworks they all bring a, a whole bunch of new problems that the only way that you're gonna be able to solve them is if you know the basics if you understand you know the basics of data structures the basics of objects you know and at least the basics of object-oriented programming nowadays, especially with ES6. So, if you don't understand the basics of a JavaScript, you should not jump into a framework. Now, something like jQuery is different. jQuery might be the best op option for somebody who doesn't know JavaScript. Meaning, if you don't know JavaScript and you're not that great, you know, manipulating the DOM, then, I will say, hey, go ahead, use jQuery. jQuery is gonna make you productive straight off the get-go. You know what I mean? So I will say, yeah, use jQuery. jQuery is gonna make your life easier as you learn more JavaScript. But don't think that just because you're using jQuery, that's it, you know JavaScript, because you don't. You know, it's just, it takes time, guys. This is like a numbers game, this thing, no matter what you do, there's no cheat codes, there's no course that could say, hey, I'm going to teach you JavaScript in 30 minutes. You know, shout out to the, what's the guy's name, Dar uh, what's 
Derek Bannis, whatever. Derek Banana, whatever. He His channel is fucking legit. I like it because I use it as a reference. I like to go to his channel, check out stuff like, you know, TypeScript or other uh, programming languages that he has there, tutorials. And they're good. But just because it says, hey, you're going to learn this in one hour, that's not the truth. What he should name it is learn the syntax or see the syntax of JavaScript in one hour. See the syntax of TypeScript in one hour. See the syntax of Python in one hour. Because there's no way that you're going to learn Python or JavaScript or any other programming language in one hour. It's impossible. There's a numbers game. You just have to put in the hours. It's going to take you a, a long time to learn all of these things. So if you want to learn this right away and you say, okay, man, right now I'm to the point where I want to quit my job. I want to get the hell out of here. Well, the best thing for you to do is say, hey, I'm going to study. If I get home at 5 o'clock, I'm going to study from 5 o'clock to 10 o'clock so I can learn all of this stuff in one month or two months you know so if you do that and you're dedicated you're gonna be able to learn this right away but if you're thinking oh yeah I'm gonna learn this on my part time whenever I have time whenever I get to uh, stay home whenever I, I don't want to hang out with my friends if you're thinking like that then it's gonna take you a long time for you to learn this thing you know so it's all about numbers guys it's all about the hours that you put you know, it's like what they say, um, was it, once you put in your 10,000 hours, you know everything already, you know, so, that's just how it is, you just gotta put in that work, not be lazy, not, not to think like, oh, I got, there's gotta be a video out there that's gonna break it down for me, I'm gonna learn it right away, there's gonna be better in instructors than others, but there's not gonna be a, a video that's gonna skip those, you know, 100 plus hours that you need to learn a programming language. Nobody's gonna be able to give you that, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> so for you guys that ask me all the time, what's the easiest way to learn JavaScript? Well, there you go, I just gave it to you. <laughs> just learn the basics, you know, you could go through stuff like, you know, Codecademy, just to learn uh, basic uh, syntax, right? And then, or even here on my own channel, I have a JavaScript tutorials there that teaches you all the basics, right? So you could do that, or you could go directly to one of the courses that I have. You know, of course, they, they're more uh, full feature, meaning like they're gonna teach you everything. They're gonna teach you from creating uh, a page to building interactive uh, menus, interactive uh, sliders, all of that stuff you're gonna learn it even the back end especially if you learn uh was it uh code steals or web developer bootcamp so it's up to you right it's up to you the the way that you want to take it but yeah man you already know it's your boy joe aka i do this aka your boy <laughs> all right guys make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video man make sure you share it to other people um yeah and just keep it simple guys and just put in those hours and like i always say man if you want to learn what tutorials what courses taught me how to become a web developer it's very simple it's on my description you will see all the courses there that i took of course i've taken plenty of other courses but these are the courses that i know that if you take it they're gonna teach you everything all right guys i'll see you later Wow.